Hello guys and welcome to the new episode of my compound series. This episode is about Godard Dogs. But before we go inside the compound, I want to spend some words on this watchtower. The only angle to shoot the enemies inside without going up is this one. Because the tower is completely reinforced with metal sheets and not even long ammo can go through them. Let's start by saying that these boats are not a good cover and even a sneeze can go through them. This particular spot in the fence is 99% of the time trapped, so make sure you check it before you jump in. This window too is a very common trap spot, if you are planning to get in, make sure you check it. And if you are inside, you can use this spot right there to have an advantage on the people pushing from the mobile battery side. Or you can use this other spot to get a view on the open field in the direction of blank primary. Be careful also, because the roof has pretty big holes and they can need the inside easily. If we move outside, we can notice immediately this big oil puddle that can be used to stop attackers and push them where you want them. This pile of wood may look useless, but it's in reality bulletproof and can be a great emergency cover or a ninja attack spot. Please don't think for a second that this dried fish is a good cover. This little construction hide a bunch of interesting things. The first one is that this roof is bulletproof. The second one is this little corner that aims at the blank primary field and the forest. The boat house on the right. Shut up, ducks. Also, you can pick the flying ducks or crows to troll your teammates. The boat house is the first building you see if you spawn in the forest side. And the most common mistake that the players do is to think that this curtain is a good hiding spot. I've seen a lot of players doing what I'm doing right now, but the truth is, this curtain doesn't render from far away and most of the times you see a Pepeno standing in the open. This boat house is a very open construction and not really good to fight in. The space is too open and it offers zero covers. And you can also nade from that hole in the roof. From the roof, it's very easy to have an angle on the inside. And the best part is that this roof is 100% bulletproof. This is one of my favorite spots. Not only you can have an angle on the forest side, but you can also see and shoot inside the boss layer. This roof follows the rules of any other roof in the game. Don't pick the same spot twice and don't stand still for too long. Right next to the boss layer, we can find one of the most important spots in this compound. If you go far enough, you can see how easy it is to see inside the boss layer and how easy it is to see if someone is behind the main sliding door. On the same dock, it's good to notice that these barrels are a good bulletproof cover. If you are in an emergency situation and you need to buy time, you can stay in this corner for a bit. Also, if the boss is here, this fish will have a cute hat on him. Moving on the next building, it's impossible not to notice this oil puddle. Make sure no one sets it on fire on you. And also make sure you don't stand in front of this hole when you are fighting. If someone is trying to wallbang you, you can jump here and get a great cover and a great angle on the window. As mentioned earlier, this building is full of these holes, making it easier to spot you if you don't move here on the left behind this metal shelf. You can also use these two spots to quickly counter the attackers. There are also these two windows pointing directly at the boss layer. They are not bad at all, but it's easy to get spotted from above. As usual, be careful for the holes in the roof. Apparently Edzin has a bed here too. These two cracks are a good comeback spot if used correctly with the big engine. You can easily see through and you can get cover behind the engine if needed, but be careful of that hole. 
Now let's talk about the main ways to get inside the boss layer. But first, take a look at these holes in the roof. Perfect to fight someone below you. If the roof is safe and you choose to push from here, always keep in mind that these windows can be trapped. And if they are not, check also the staircase for a crouching player. Another way in is from the staircase, but keep in mind the barrel down here can be also a red barrel and it can be trapped. I never seen someone successfully pushing from here though, because the counter corners are so many that it's almost impossible to succeed. As for these windows, keep in mind that no single one of them renders from the distance. See? It's pretty dangerous staying behind them. The sliding doors are easy to counter from the top and you should never stay here for too long. Another issue is that the gaps in the door allow the people inside to see you pretty easily. Going up from the staircase, we always need to be careful about this hole. Before you walk the stairs, you should always check if someone is watching that hole, and you can do it quite easily from the roof if no one is behind you. If you push the corridor, always check if the corner is trapped. Now let's get inside the boss layer and let's see how easy it is for the people inside to cover the door with a bulletproof cover. You can also use the staircase for better mobility if they are pushing hard. But turn off the lantern. As said before, this spot is very dangerous, but if you go far enough you are completely safe. And if you want to be extra safe, use this corner and try to get the tomahawk kill that you need for the achievement. This spot is one of my two go spots if someone is sitting outside the lair. And of course, it works both ways. If you really want to be a ninja from the swamp village, you can use this spot and blend with the environment. You can also use this spot with the sniper to get a pretty nasty angle on the outside. Make sure you always keep these windows closed to prevent the nade spamming. Close also this one, but don't stand in front of it, cause it doesn't random from far away. Behind the window there is also this spot that you can use to push the people up the staircases. This will make you laugh, but these fishes are bulletproof. This is the best corner to defend the staircase and the forest side, but be careful cause the wall next to it is not bulletproof. You can go behind this metal bucket and get a better angle on the roof and the staircase. You can also defend the main door, but your back will be very exposed to the forest side. The last great spot I want to show you is this one. You can wall bang this wall even with the windfield and you can throw stuff from this gap above here before you push. And we reach again the end of the video guys and as always I hope you learned some new things. I want to say also thank you for the amazing support on the videos on stream and on reddit. You guys are the best. I will see you guys every day on Twitch at the link in the description. Bye and don't forget to praise the sun.